what's up what's up people welcome to kingdom voice tv it is your girl easy idaro so uh guess what we are at lily perez's album launch her debut album actually at oriental hotel which is tied to the seat of victory so uh we're gonna be getting all the hoots and the you know the fun that went down getting this album together so i want you guys to stick around and let's have this fun together shall we we'll be right back hi everyone so i am standing here with the lady of the hour Lily Perez, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, very, you very look good. like it. So uh, you are going for the neon, greenish, Nigeria, Ankara, going on, African style. So is there any particular reason you went for this look? No, I just um, told my um, stylist what I wanted. I wanted her to do something really playful, colorful, got really dark, so I wanted something playful. And then she came up with this, and when I started, I was like, fine, let's do this. Fantastic. I like, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> we love risks. We love taking risks. So uh, you, your, this is your debut album launch. Your, your yes, first? Um, my debut album as Lily Perez. Yes, a lot of people know me back as Lily Odeshola, but then I rebranded and as Lily Perez. Yes, this is my... Okay, fantastic. So we know we have a lot of things that go behind the scenes when you're creating something as huge as this. Can you like tell us a little bit about you know what you had to go through, the challenges, you know, all the things that you had to you know do to get this work together? Well, first of all, um, I didn't really plan for it. I always said I want to do an album, and I was working writing songs, but um, I had an accident, um, a fire accident, um, in February this year, and I had to be on bed rest for a long time, for over four months. So. During that period of solitude, being alone and in pain, basically, I'll say God visited me because I finished songs, I got songs, I received songs, not necessarily wrote songs, but received them. You know, the difference. Songs that just came to me from my experience and then, you know, I could have died. I would have died. It was a fire accident, a gas, you know, so you can see from my arms. Terrible, yes. Yeah. So I'm really grateful to God for saving my life. And when you listen to the album, you see the elements of um, gratitude. And also, the song, the, the album is actually titled Seat of Victory. Okay, so it shows that the victory has already been won, the battle has already been won, you know. So we as believers, you know, we God, right? It's, it's a set up game, basically, you know. So I'm um, thanking God and enjoying my victory, you know. I'm seeing everything from the standpoint of victory, and then that's, that's it, basically. Fantastic. Yes. So, uh, of all your songs on your album, which one is your favorite? I know you can't say all. You are free to say you all the songs are your favorite, yeah. <laughs> but which one stands out for you? Well, someone asked me this question today. It will be number eleven, audience of one, audience. audience of one, because it's like a personal. It's a personal song, such a personal song, you know, between me and God. He's my audience of one. The main people, the main things fighting for one's attention, you know. But he's my audience of one. He's the only thing I see and. You know, he's just magnified. The song is a love song and an intimate song between me and God, audience of one. So, track 11. All of them are good. I love all of them, but that one would be my favorite. Yeah. Hey, so I am here with Nikki Lau. Yay! Your name is very catchy. Do you know that? Oh, yes. You know, oh, it yes. sounds like if I'm more <laughs> Americana or something, but it's a Nigerian name. Yes. yes. yes awesome. <laughs> so, uh, we are at Lily Perez's album launch. So, how very close are you with Lily? Lily and I go way back. We actually used to sing in the same choir. We're both in Koza, Lagos Choir. Yes. But, of course, uh, we both moved on to other uh, ministries and all of that. But we've been good friends since that. Since then. Um, I even recently interviewed her on... Um, my, my radio show Girls Rock with Nikki Lau yeah, because I always make sure that I look out for her and she's a strong woman that has actually gone through a lot and yet you still see her smiling she literally went through the fire but look at her today she's sitting on a seat of victory y'all yeah. So I'm very excited about your about this album. I'm very excited because that's been a long time coming. Um, I've been there with all her previous singles and finally she's been able to put them all together into an album. Standing on the carpet with Annie. How are you doing today, Annie? I'm good. So you are you went for the casual look today? Yes. Why? Right. I was just as you know you know I dress the way I feel a lot of the time. I brought out my palazzo trouser, my high shoes. After a while, I just like <laughs> let me just calm down. <laughs> yes, so I feel I feel good this way. You look good. You, you look good. You look good. So uh, Lily Perez, right? How long have you known her? About. Six years. Six years. Wow. So, uh, you're a singer. She's a singer. Any collaborations coming up? Please. Maybe. Who Any knows? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. So None that I know of, but maybe. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, have you listened to any of the songs on her album? 
Yes, I think I know one of the songs. That was the one she released um, some weeks back. Um, I can't remember the title, honestly. I can't remember the title. I think something Victory. Forgive me. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So we know we have a lot of people who have gone through something to get to where they are. To Just like Anim, she has a testimony. You know about um, you know what she her accident actually, and she you talked about having it. You know, bringing the, this album out from through what she went through. What do you have to say about um, to what do you what would you like to say to people you know who have gone through something and they want to just give up on themselves and life uh, as a whole? What would you like to say? Um, I, I always direct people to the scriptures. The Bible declares that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but that He has delivered them from them all. So whatever we go through, and I always admonish people. We as Christians, as children of God, we never get defeated because Jesus has won it all. He has given us the victory. We fight from the place of victory. From it is from victory to victory. And if you truly believe in the fact that Jesus went to the cross and died for you, you know that you're a victor. So the devil will always try throw things at you. Don't ever um, let him have the last say. Don't ever let the devil have the last say. Always, 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 always. Um, speak the word always always know that you are a victorious person fantastic standing on the carpet with old oh, no scary yo how you doing i'm very well thank you i love your voice oh my gosh you melt that's when it's cracked that's when it's cracked that's how it Is sounds it like right now? yeah a bit oh, i've been lovely. singing I'm, like <laughs> I'm kidding so you went for the casual look yeah, why i just eat i just eat I'm here to have fun and just enjoy God's presence. So I didn't want to look all serious and so Can I just like twirl for us. I want to we want to see the sneakers. Oh, cool. Just twirl. Just a little just a little twirl. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank awesome. you so much. So how long have you known um, Lily Perez? Huh? I knew her. I think the first encounter I had with her was um uh, it's almost three, three, four years ago. And um, her personality was amazing. So I've known her over time and um I'm excited to see what God had, you know, like her journey, and she's here today. So for me, I, I'm here to celebrate God in her life and just, just join her to, you know, to, you know, be a part of what God is doing in this new season in her life, the seat of victory. Just the, the title of the album alone is, <laughs> is what's coming to, I, I, I wrote something on my Instagram, I said, I'm coming to get to my seat. <laughs> <laughs> my seat of, of victory. Yeah, so I'm here to celebrate God with her. Fantastic. So uh, everybody has a story, right? Lily Perez has a story to tell. Um, she literally went through fire, right? And uh, we know we've had a lot of people who have gone through something in their lives and they just want to give up. What would you like to say to those people who have, you know, gone something, through something like this and you just want to... Um, in one word, I'm going to borrow the word that um, Bishop T.D. Jakes used. In fact, it's, 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 it's something that it's... Um, it's growing in me presently. Your battle is your bread. Whatever the battle is, whatever the struggle is, there lies your victory. So just keep pressing. Praise God in the midst of the storm. And you'll be surprised the things that happen in your life. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking to You're us. Oh, we love Thanks you. For having me. We love you too. <laughs> Standing on the carpet with... Toluchi. Toluchi, Toluchi. So, uh, what's, what's going on? Why did you choose the African style? Oh, well, it's Sunday. Um, uh, because I'm more on the technical side of uh, what's it called entertainment. I usually do knickers, smart wears, and all that. So, I just decided to go a little bit uh, native this evening. Yeah. No problem, no problem, no problem. It's fine, it's fine. So, how long have you known Lily Perez? I've known Lily Perez for quite a, quite a while. No, not for I think our first our first meeting was um, at Midnight Cruise tenth anniversary in Unilag some years back. That was when they were fresh in Lagos, and I mean from since then the husband is a very good friend. He's also a, uh, a co-producer in the industry, so it's a, it's a lovely family, and we we happen to attend the same church, we're in the same choir. Yeah, so it's family. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So uh, we know um, Lily has a story to tell, right? Yeah. She's literally gone through fire. Yeah. So uh, and a, lo a lot of women or people generally have, you know, gone through something and they just want to give up. But Lily has stand as, you know, st stood out to be someone that you can, you know, learn from. Yeah. What would you like to say to those people who have literally given up? What would you like to say to them? Well, uh, 
you have a choice either to tell God to take you up there, take you to heaven, or you stay. But uh, let me refer to the verse of the scripture that says, In the world, you have trouble. Guaranteed, you have trouble. But the, the cover to it is be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. So that is our disposition to adversity. Uh, in management, I'm very schooled in finance, so in management, we call it the adversity quotient. Uh, your natural propensity to respond to trouble, to manage adversity, you know, uh, literally speaking. So, for anybody going through some hard time, you're not, I mean, no, be only you now. It's, Nigeria itself is enough trouble. <laughs> so, but what, what I'll tell you is be of good cheer. You've already overcome, so you fight from the position of victory. You don't fight as a victim. You know, you fight with the mindset that God has already overcome. So, that's, that's, that's it. So, don't give up. Good talk, but uh, let's play a little game before you go, yeah? Games. I don't like games. <laughs> no. In Kingdom we, we are full of mysteries. Okay. So uh, I need you to say seat of victory ten times fast. Seat of victory, 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 seat. It's more than ten. That's why. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. My pleasure. God bless you. Kingdom boys. So I'm standing here with one of my favorite people, actually, Sabina Ninja Pastor. Hi. 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 How are you? You look amazing. Thank you. I saw you were wearing your hair up. I'm tired of packing it. It's been up for like a week plus, so let me drop it. So why did you go for the African? Everybody has a reason. I mean, you dress up for a reason, right? Like. Why did you go for this? this I am an African prince, precisely Ankara person. I love to be in my Ankara any day, any time. If I can't have it folded, there must be something about it. When you check me head to toe, because I'm a plus size. Ankara prince is quite light, is elegant, is beautiful, comes in different colors, really, really easy to wear, and you know, makes it very easy for you to move around. So, apart from that, I'm crazy about Ankara. I'm in love with Ankara stuff. Yeah, awesome. So, how long have you known Lily Perez? Ah, for a bit, it's been long ago. Uh, maybe like <laughs> no you know there are some people that, there are some people that you meet you know and in two weeks it, it's like you've known all your lives I think she is the younger sister that wasn't born by my mom and we didn't hap we happen not to have grown up in the same um, environment but I think it should be up to um, five years or more that we physically met and straight up we adopted ourselves as sisters she's my baby sister so that means you know her to an extent um, what would you like what like what would you say about her passion for music uh, Lily is quite a sweet soul she loves to just worship God so I think it just comes out naturally with her singing yeah I think she has a heart for God she's someone who's um, who's yielded you will know when someone is yielded yeah she's a yielded person to god and naturally her passion you know shows in what she does that's the bit i have to say about that okay so have you listened to any of the songs on her album mm, amazing god is beautiful i love it i play Can it a lot it? on my arena <laughs> no ma <laughs> because it ministers to me and I play it out for people to hear I've never particularly want to score it but I just know that this is a song that brings down the presence that yeah so we know um, Lily has a story to tell yeah she has gone through fire literally um, and a lot of people you know have gone through certain things and they just want to give up on whatever it is they're doing but Lily has stood out to be one that we can watch and learn from what would you like to say to people who have gone through fire literally and just want to give up on life? Um, I think people often say, and sometimes it's taken for granted, that challenges are the spices of life. Life would be really, really boring and, you know, there'll be no destination if challenges do, do not pop up. But the thing is that when they do, being humans, sometimes we react really bad to them and sometimes we are able to put it under control but for Lily I think that being a Christian for starters has helped her to realize that whatever comes her way 
must have been permitted by God for a reason. So that's the same thing I want to say to people out there who are listening and going through stuff and you just want to give up. The truth is that if you give up, it's not going to change anything. Rather, it will even make it worse. So I advise that you hold on to your faith, remind God of his promises. He knows them, but he wants to see how how dependent you are on those promises, how sold out to his promises that you are. So hold on, your day is coming. Everybody's got their day. When Lily was in pain, when the sore was fresh, I'm so sure it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny, like, look, this thing should come and just, you know, let it just go. But today she's singing, she's happy, she's laughing, and then she's talking about it. You know, so I think there's always a reason for us to go through stuff so that we can talk about it, glorify God for one. Number two, become stronger and be, uh, you know, wiser people. And then number three, so that others will be encouraged and they will also attain their victory just as you have because you're speaking about it to them. Yes. Hi, sweetie, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. What's your name? Isha Bidemi. So uh, I heard like a little buddy told me something that you are a gospel singer, is that true? Yes, and an inspirational singer. And an inspirational singer. Do you do anything else apart from gospel music? Mm, no, no. no so really. you, are, you, are a, you are a student, I mean? Yes. Right. Awesome, awesome. So uh, how long have you known Lily Perez? I haven't known her. I just heard of her once. Okay. Oh, we love new busy, you know, people just coming fresh and stuff. But it's all good. So uh, why don't you do, do a little bit something, yeah? Um, sing for us something, anything at all. Mm. My name is Isha Olua, Isha Olua, my name is Isha Olua, Isha Olua, Isha Olua, Kole Baja Lai Lai, Isha Olua, Kole Baja Lai Lai, God is with me, I'm a child of God, I'm destined to be great, oh, oh. We could do this all day, you know, <laughs> I love, I'm, I'm loving it, but... Good luck. Thank you for talking to us. Thank Have you. A good day. I am standing on the carpet with Mr. Perez. Mr. Perez. <laughs> Mr. Perez. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Appreciate it. So you. I must say you look. You're looking. You know. You're looking the parts actually. Mm. Thank you. You're looking like a, the man mm. behind mm. the whole the whole thing. So uh, how deep were you in this whole preparation for the album and everything? Did you produce the album? Yeah, I produced the album. All the tracks. So how was it? How was it like working? Oh, wait, okay. Let me put it this way. How is it like working with your wife? You being a music producer and being a she being a musician. How is how is it like? Do you do you fight at all? It's actually very difficult because um, it's actually very difficult, okay. and that's why this album took like seven years. It's been back and forth. Yeah, it took like seven years. You know, we married for like seven years this year, and this is like the first album. So it's not even as easy as people think it is. Do you understand? So a lot of um, okay, this is what I think. No, this is what I think. Or okay, this is what we should be. You know, but the truth is, what made it very easy was the accident. You know, it sounds funny, but after the accident, you now had like clarity. Like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, she's a very very multi-talented person. She has a food business. She studied um, energy management. So when people, when talented, talented people have options, they tend to should I do this? No, let me do this. Oh, no, no. So she was even more passionate about her cooking business okay. than the music. So, but th the accident that made you know she couldn't cook again. Does not you know? So just got clarity of oh, well, maybe this is what I should be doing because that's what gave her comfort that's what helped her you know come off the pains and even till now she's still in pain sometimes but you know so okay so um, it would be it would have been easier for us to ask her how the journey was you know going through the accident that she went through but you know from your own from your own side how was how was it like how was what was the journey like you know having to for you know having to watch her go through that pain that she was that she you know went through yeah the, the truth is no matter how much you love someone you can't feel their pains so you can only just sympathize oh sorry oh yeah <laughs> yeah but uh, sometimes they're like ah, yeah disturbing me i want to sleep you know but um it's not a good side it's not um when she's crying or she's in pain you're like oh what else can i do you know and um you know so uh, basically, yeah. basically where the, she's already <laughs> 
you know, so it's, it's been yeah. It's always nice talking to you, Mr. Thank Perez. You, thank you so much. Thank, right, you. thank you for talking to me. I us. didn't do your fizzy in my name. Thank you. Perez. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Hello, my people. This is VC Perez. Keep watching Kingdom Boys TV. Don't touch it. We have come to the end of the red carpet and we are going to be going inside now for more of the amazing stuff. So, uh, I'm going to be leaving you guys, so, so don't, be, don't be offended, but you know, I have to go inside and get everything as it's coming hot, you know. But if you want more, go to kingdomboys.com. Bye-bye.